Uh, and as you said, we had sympathy for Israelis as refugees from the Holocaust in Europe. Of course, the Arabs didn't perpetrate the Holocaust. Right. But that's neither here nor there, I suppose. Now Israel has perpetrated a Holocaust. And that's the answer to your question. Um, kids may not, you know, they've, they've, had a, uh, they've had a lifetime full of movies about the Holocaust, because Hollywood definitely turn, likes to turn those out. Some of them excellent movies. Yeah. Um, and, um, but now they're seeing this live. They're seeing the equivalent of Auschwitz a lot live. And they're seeing the president of the United States say things like, well, let's get a temporary ceasefire, which is a bit like saying to someone in Auschwitz, here, have a drink of Kool Aid before you go to the gas chamber. Yeah. It's not responsive to the problem. What is the problem? Um, here, I think everybody is dancing around the fundamental truth, which is this is not a war between Israel and Hamas. It's a war by Israel on Palestinian self-determination. And Hamas carries that, ba that banner. And yet we hear people say, well, it's totally unacceptable for Hamas to be in charge in Gaza or anywhere else. Well, the last election that was held, they won. And the polls show that despite a lot of misgivings about some of their behavior and maybe their decision to go over the wall in, on October 7 last year, they're still very popular. So, yeah. you know, this is a reminder of how the state of Israel began, which was in an orgy of terrorism. You know, the, the leaders of Israel are all terrorists. And, of course, if you win independence... Uh, then you're a, a, a founding father. You're not a terrorist right. anymore. Right. But if you lose, you're still a terrorist. Uh, so um, I think we need a fundamental rethinking of all of this. 